Welcome back everyone. So this week for our starter, we're going to be making a recipe that has been making a comeback uh, lately. It's an egg recipe, it's a starter, and it is called the cloud eggs. It is actually based on an old recipe that is known in France as the eggs or cine. It's been around since the 1900, but in recent time it's kind of made a comeback. People have made it a different way and it's got now a new name. Now I've tried both of the versions, but I think there was something missing in the original and in the new version that he serves on a piece of toasted bread. Now, if you don't know what the cloud egg is, it is very simple. It is an egg that is separated with the egg white on one side, the egg yolks on the other side. You beat the white into a meringue, bake it first in the oven, and then add the egg yolk on top of a bit of cheese at the last minute. What we're gonna do in this recipe here is to revisit these famous cloud eggs I'm going to add my personal touch. We're going to look at the technical aspect of that recipe because it's quite interesting uh, on how it is made and perhaps you've never tried it, so why not? So an interesting recipe, these cloud eggs, it is called in French les oeufs nuages, les oeufs nuages. And the concept is very simple. You separate the egg white and the, uh, the egg yolks. We're going to beat them. You add a bit of cheese, salt and pepper. And for the original recipe, it is usually baked into an, in the individual ramekin or cocotte like this. You got the egg whites in there and you bake it, and then when it's got a nice and color, you put your egg yolk and you're pretty much done. A topping of cheese, and that's it. The new recipe called the cloud eggs is the same, except that you serve this on a piece of toast. I found both versions to be very, very dry and just lacking one element, which is moisture. So what I decided to do here is to revisit and try to elevate these cloud eggs uh, to a new level. And for that, I've used the simple techniques uh, from French cooking, thinking first, of the floating islands. This is a dessert where we whip uh, the egg work into a meringue. It's sweet, it's poached on, a, on boiling water, and it is then placed on a bed of custard. Okay, so you've got a pond of liquid. The Roux Brothers is a second example with the souffle suisses, where you have a large dish, and you've got the souffle base that is baked on its own and then placed on a bed of cream with cheese. And again, you get that kind of sauce that serves with that moisture, and that moisture is, I think, what's missing. So I'm gonna use the same technique as the souffle suisses, because we're not far from making a souffle. It's just uh, simpler to make, okay? So let's go into the demonstration and see how we're gonna build this. One of the things I wanted to do with that revisited version of the, uh, <coughs> the cloud egg is really to make something versatile and also to improve a little bit on the taste. So for the taste, I'm adding a layer of uh, cream with cheese on here, and this is the cream, but you could use, for instance, tomato, you could use a bed of bechamel, spinach, anything that you want. So it's really to give you options so that you can make it yours. For the rest, we've got the salt paper. I've grated the cheese and I've separated the eggs. So this is the egg yolk on here, it stays in the shell for now. And I've got the egg white. I strongly recommend you do this with two or three eggs because you want to have enough egg, egg white to be able to beat them, uh, you know, correctly. Otherwise, with one, it's going to be a bit tough, but I'm still going to attempt it. So, now let's go through the process. The first thing we're going to do before even beating the egg white is to prepare the cream. So the cream, I've got my little pan, you see it's handy, the little copper pan, again, for small amounts. I've got to put a few tablespoons of good quality organic cream in here. And all I'm going to do is to season with some cheese, so I'm going easy with the cheese. Huh? It's not something over the top, it's really just the seasoning. And we're gonna warm this up, okay, slowly. Now the other thing uh, that we're gonna be taking care of here is already to preheat the oven. And the oven temperature is very important. When you bake egg whites, I'm uh, being sweet or, or savory, the one thing that can happen uh, very fast is that they get dry. So they can color, they can look good, but they're gonna be a bit crunchy and a bit dryish. So a lot of recipes recommend a very low temperature. That's gonna require a very long cooking time in the oven. And I'm kind of sitting in the middle. I'm trying here the, the oven at 180 degrees. I've tried 200, was too much. So 180 degrees, uh, I think it's gonna be the sweet spot to allow you to do these things in about 10 minutes tops. Okay, so pre the oven, 180. We're going to be warming up the cream, but as I said, you can use, uh, you know, tomato sauce or anything like this. Okay, so just bring it to the boil and that's it. My cream has reached the boil. I've turned the heat off and it's resting on the side. This is not important. The important uh, step in that recipe is actually right here, making the egg white to beat them really, really firm. And this is crucial for the success of the recipe. If it's not firm enough, 
it's not going to look as great and it may not work uh, at all. So I've got here uh, my egg white, it's only one, it's going to be very hard, a pinch of salt and crucially what I would advise when you start, you add a drop of lime, of lemon juice in there, not much, with just a drop and that's going to prevent you from over beating the egg white. So what I'm going to do here, okay, is to place this in there, maximum speed, and beat the heck out of it until it's really firm. One egg took me about four minutes, and what do we mean by stiff is this. You see my egg white is staying in there. That's ready. So once you're here, it is really just a flavoring. I've got salt already. I'm gonna add some pepper, and I'm gonna add some Parmesan because it's, I like it because it's salty. So sprinkle of it in there. It's a bit like, like I said, it's like a souffle. And all what you're gonna do here is the typical, you're gonna be taking a spatula or something and without, and trying not to break these that are extremely fragile. That's it, we make a bowl. And you're done. I'm gonna put this in the baking dish. Let's do this. So all what I'm gonna do, I've got my hot cream and I'm gonna put, I've got what, two tablespoons, just a layer of it there. Next, what I'm going to do is to simply try to put this thing into a bowl in the middle and then shape it a little bit. Okay, it doesn't have to be uh, particularly good looking. I you shape it like a bit of an iceberg and you want a little cavity in the middle, just a very slight cavity because we're going to be placing that egg yolk after in there. Okay, but you don't need to go over the top. And you know what? That's it. That is going into the oven at 180 degrees. It may take about five minutes. I'll give you exactly the time it takes. So straight. After three to four minutes of cooking, you're gonna take your uh, ramekin out of there. And what we're gonna do is try to gently place our egg yolk in there. It's gonna drip down. Boom, it's disappearing under there. And we're putting this back into the oven with plenty of cheese to finish to cook. My egg is ready. I put it on the plate just to show in the oven and let's try it straight off. So no time to waste, my revisited cloud egg is here. As you can see, this is how it looks like. And you see what I mean by the cooking when you use a high temperature, it tends to crisp up. So that was only like about four minutes to start up, followed by two minutes, so almost like six minutes in total. You can see the egg yolk is meant to be still a bit runny. It's hiding inside, sometimes it stays at the top. And I have not poured extra cream yet that I've got here on the side in my pan, <laughs> just in case. As you know me, you know, it's always like my cream. So, so I've got some cutlery here of all kinds. Uh, I'm not too sure if I use, you know, shall we use like a, a spoon? Maybe to cut this open. I'm not too sure what you want to see first. Um, so you see, it's very fluffy. So it's a bit like a souffle, or like a cloud, like a cloud. And you see like the uh, Oeuf à la Neige, like the uh, floating island. You've got this bit here and immediately, I'm gonna add some more sauce because I love it. <laughs> and I'm gonna try just, just the white with the Parmesan and a bit of cream. Mm. Mm, that's not bad. Mm, you know what? That is the missing link. The moisture and the sauce in there, definitely good. Now we managed to preserve the egg yolk. It's totally there, like a normal egg. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to break it open just to show you it's still runny, okay? And then we start to mingle. It's like a deconstructed souffle, huh? a little bit. Got the eggs, mm. not bad, huh? It's nice and fluffy. And you know, for me, I really like this addition of cream that you have, so you can roll everything, the crispiness with the cream. With the eggs, mm. I'm gonna add a bit of more sauce. Up. But that's it. This is my uh, revisited version of the cloud eggs. Let me get that piece. <laughs> so there it is. This is how you make the cloud egg. If you've never seen it, I've never tried it before. I think it is really one of these dish that you need to try at least once. And this revisited version is for me the ultimate one that is very versatile because not only you have this extra moisture into the dish, 
but it also gives you plenty of options uh, to make it yours. So you can replace the cream by tomato sauce, like I said, you can replace it by a bechamel, you can put a bit of vegetables, of spinach, whatever you like, and you can come up with plenty of little things uh, that are interesting. For the tips, I would highly recommend you make these at least uh, in a couple using two egg whites or three because you're going to have plenty of egg whites to make a nice fluffy meringue that you can flavor with the cheese. The cheese can be changed. I'm using Parmesan because it's nice and dry. You can use a cheddar. You could even want to use blue cheese if you wanted this. Plenty of things you can do. So have a go, try the cloud eggs, leave me a comment in the comment section to see how you go, what did you like, and perhaps what is your own version. As for me, I will see you, of course, next week for a special uh, main dish, and it was actually a request from how uh, one of our students, David, that has a chicken recipe that the entire family has been making for years. So we're gonna taste it at us unit. Don't leave me high and dry